Ladies and gentlemen and the people of the internet, today's a day is a good day for us because today I'm actually going to take a look at another Power Ranger Dino Fury for you guys for the Mega Sword line, even though we already had the new series for Power Rangers. I still want to, you know, keep reviewing for Dino Fury because uh, I'm still missing the the one more sword I need. So anyways, I went to my local Ross uh, yesterday and I was trying to find some new Transformer figures I need for my collection, but unfortunately they don't have it close by home. So, luckily enough, I've actually found one of the swords I need. So, today, I'm finally going to take a look at this. There we go. Today, I'm going to take a look at the Power Rangers Dino Fury, the Patera Free Sword. Now, before we continue on, you guys do me a little quick favor, so I'll be right back. Hey, you. Stop what you're doing. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy your day. Make sure you follow me on every social media I have, link in the description down below, and become a Patreon supporter. Which I already said that, so yeah. Anyways, so this one cost me about $13, and I was actually pretty excited for this. Now I'm just missing the one more sword I need with the Dimetro Blaze sword, and I'm done for, for today. Since the Cosmic Fairy is already out now, I haven't even seen it yet, but I'll probably won't have time to see it because I'll probably be busy. So anyways, here is what the packaging is going to look like right here. You can see the artwork of the Petra Free Sword and the Beast Mode. And of course, I had the Sword Link gimmick right there. Uh, more of a conferred right there, so that's actually nice. This one is number 5, by the way. You can see one side, I had the Ultra Sword combination right there. Pretty nice. Nothing on the top. Mine just had the price sticker down here. I mean, up here. Nothing on the bottom. On the side, you can see the Pratera Free Sword artwork right there. Pretty badass as hell. Do like it a lot. And the back of the packaging is showing off everything you can see right here. This one is a triple changer. So this one converts to egg mode, beast mode, and robot mode. So that is actually pretty awesome. And you can see the other combination right here. That thing right there. The Prima Ultra Sword and the Patera Rex Sword. I am actually going to... I am do I am actually gonna do showing off the Pateric Rex sword for in this video, so yeah. But this one is gonna be in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, so let's take a look of the sword. So yeah. So here we have the Patera Free Sword right there. Now before we actually show this off a little bit, let me show you the Dino Key comes with. This is the if I can remember the the Patera Freeze Dino Key or something. I may not sure what the actual name of this one is, but please leave the comment down below. And I don't remember the actual name of the Japanese version of the Ryuso Key. Uh, but I know the Japanese version of this one is Irikirio or something. I might have to take a look at it. But if you guys can correct me in the comments, I'll be grateful. So this one actually casts it in translucent blue, and it actually looks pretty good. The only major complaint I have is, of course, is the lack of paint. And of course, you remove this piece off, you can see the deep, more detail right there of the key. Pretty nice. And look at this right here. This one have the, the little sword on it, the sword on it right there, instead of, you know, one of the rangers. What is actually pretty nice, to be honest with you. Enough about that, let's actually look over the... Egg mode, so here we have the Patera Free Sword and Egg Mode, and to be honest with you, this is absolutely nice. The paint that has got to the detail of this one looks cool, except it does have some kibble, robot kibble showing off, which is the back of it right there, which is not good. It's the same complaint like the Japanese version, but it's still adorable. You just don't look at it to the side, even to the back, just look at it at the front. This is actually pretty nice. And and I just want to say one thing, the mouth does open in egg mode, but only about this far. In the beast mode, it does open all the way up. You can see the the Ryu Soldier logo right there, of course. Cast and transfers in plastic right there. You can see everything is showing off, and yeah, there's not much to say about it. You do have some Sword Links connection right there, and two of it right here, and there's two over there so you can weaponize this little egg boy to if he feels threatened so yeah there's actually not much of it to say about the egg egg form this is actually pretty cool but i actually do want to say one thing about it is the lack of paint 
of this sort have. So that's one of my major complaints about it. So after I'm done recording this, I'm going to paint this so I can TV show. Then, yeah, that pretty much that's it. Now to transform this into beast mode is actually easy and simple. First thing to do is you need to bring this up, flip it like that. Next is to open the wings. Now this is going to be a connector, connector joint, one here, two over there. So you want to connect that in. Which is fucking scary. Next thing to do is remove this piece out of the way for now and put it to the side. I actually did have some issue with this one because this one keep falling off and now it just want to stays here. But this thing keeps falling off like a bitch. Remove the robot arms like so. Come here, you little shitter. Remove those away. Next thing to do is to bring the whole thing around and make sure you they make sure you bring this facing dad. This part right here is the crotch area of the robot mode, and this is made of a soft rubber material, and this is actually a fake joint right there. Pretty disappointed to be honest with you, so yeah. Now you want to angle this right there. Well, not angle it. Because you actually want this to connect it, uh, was he facing this way, if I could remember? Yeah, facing this way. Make sure to fold this all the way back. Now for the arms, there's a peg hole right there. And somewhere in the bottom, there's a peg right there you guys can see. Now, this one, the which appears to be the left side of the robot arms. Plug in this side right here to the right side of the wing. And make sure you have the thumb facing... Fuck. Because you want the thumb facing this way right here, if you can see. And... Do the same thing on the other side. And there you have the Patera Free Sword in Beast Mode. To be honest with you, the transformation is easy compared to the Japanese version. It's so it's a, almost it's identical. So yeah. But I don't have the Japanese version for unfortunately, but I am gonna get it and review it for you guys. So, anyways. Looking over more of the beast mode, it looks amazingly well, to be honest with you, but he has like some more kibble in the back right there for the beast mode, so it's actually not much of it to say about it. And the one, oops, and the one thing I actually do want to say about it, well, minus this is facing down, which I didn't have a problem. Make sure you do not lose this piece right here, because if you don't have it, this is going to have, you're going to have some issues, you know, balancing this out. And remember what I said about the mouth open all the way more in the beast mode? Well, it does. And that's actually pretty nice. But I wish they could add some more paint to it. Just just as, just as saying, like, more paint, more painting. Like, the fist of the robot mode is in translucent blue. I wish it's in paint in black. Of course, this part... I wish this part is also in this color right there. Like... Why, Hasbro? Why you do this to me? And there's actually not much of it to say about the beast mode. So, yeah. But we're not actually done yet. If you remember what I said, I'm going to do the Pateria Rex of the formation. Well, I am actually going to do that right now. So, all you need to do is the T-Rex Champion Sword. So, first thing to do, you need to actually take everything apart minus the tail for the T-Rex Rex Sword. So... Yeah, so let's put the Pateria Free Sword out of the way, and first thing to do is by removing the drills, head, the guns, and the upper body, and put it to the side. Now you want to put him out of the way for now, or the body to the side for now, because you want to bring the body of the Patera Free Sword. Now, 
first thing you need to do is by removing the head, you need this piece connected to the T-Rex head. There we go. Next thing to do is split this and you want to have this to the side for now. You want to keep the tail right there. Connect that piece in. Now, for the drills, you want to connect the drills on this side right there. Oh shit. And make sure this doesn't fall off. Okay, well, make sure... If your copy has the issue keep falling off, I recommend to put a little bit of crazy goo on the on the pegs. Just do it a little bit around of it, wait until it dry off, then you can plug it in. Just don't plug it in all the way in or it won't come out. I'll probably do a video on that. Now connect the side, guns facing this way. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side down here. And last but not least, this piece right there connected to there. And you want to make sure to angle it so it doesn't actually fall off. Gonna bring the camera up a little bit more, but there it is. The Patera Rex Sword, and to be honest with you, this is actually not that bad. This part, by the way, it does missing some silver right there, which will complete like the whole part of it of the of the sword. But man, this is actually really nice. It's not that bad. I actually forgot the the Japanese version of the name of it of this combination but this is actually pretty nice and I do like it alright I'm gonna take everything apart put it back away the belongs and do the transformation for the robot mode so I'll be right back alright now we get getting on the good part the actual good part the transformation to the robot mode so all you need is the the Patera Freeze Dino Key and let's transform this so the first thing you need to do is by coming to the bottom, remove it, and put it to the side for now. Next thing to do is remove the robot arms, and you want to put it to the side also. Because you need to do is by coming to the legs. Bring the legs out. Now you want to actually angle the legs facing forward, but first, bring the feet forward. Because if you have it in this angle, it won't be looks good, so... Straighten that out. Now, like I said, straighten out the feet too. There we go. Next thing to do is twist this thing facing forward and fuck. Bring the crotch piece area up like that. Now, I'm going to move the camera a little bit more there. Now, next thing to do is connecting the arms to the side. Now, you want this piece connect to here. Bring this forward. Make sure that doesn't happen. Lastly, Plug in the key. And there you have the Patera Free Sword in Robot Mode. So I think the actual name of this one is the Patera Free Mega Sword. 
I mean, could be wrong. But here it is. The robot mode looks absolutely amazing. And to be honest with you guys, I I love it a lot. And the reason why I actually do like it a lot because the shaded blue they use. Anyways, the painting, the scope, the detail of the robot mode looks absolutely nice. The blue, the light blue with the translucent blue, the pearl white, hints of black if you guys can see, and the shade of gold they use. It looks amazing. Like, holy shit, this is actually a pretty, pretty nice Mega Sword. But the one thing I actually do have a complaint about is, of course, the lack of paint. And I thought this piece was so supposed to bend, but this is actually how it is. So, yeah. Um, on the box, it, this part right there in the shins is solid plastic like this one, but this one is in translucent plastic. So I'm kind of actually worried about if this piece is going to break if I do anything like for articulation. The most or more complaint also I have is, of course, the wings will probably interfere for arm articulation. So you won't get any much articulation for this. But anyways, articulation wise, head does under, it does go 360 degrees, but this piece is in the way, so Ellen can go like left and right. Let's go up and down a little bit. Arms on a ratchet joint, so it does go 360 degrees, but because of the wings in the way, so it only can go forward and back that far. But also nice self ratchet joints, pretty nice. Arms does go in and out. Oops, make sure don't do that too hard that that happen. Arm does go in and out perfectly good. A bend in the elbow. 90 degree. No, yeah, swivel down here in the part of the arms. Swivel at the wrist. Right there. No, I can go like that. You do have like a somewhat of waist articulation, but that's for the transformation, so yeah. Um, legs can go forward that far. Not that much for back. Does go in and out. Somewhat of a bicep swivel. It's hard to move. Over 90 degree bend because of the transformation. I will say this is the shins area down here. It's just somewhat of you can do it as a pivot, but this does may not gonna count, so yeah. Ball joint on the feet, so it does go forward, backwards, you can pivot side to side, and it does go forward 360, so you have some options for articulation. Forgot to mention, there's two connector joints right there, so yeah. So the articulation is kind of a bit limited, but you get can, you can get some good ones right there. Forgot to mention one more thing right there, one more thing, they have a printed right there with the Dino Fury logo right there, but it's not even fully painted. Alright, I'm gonna give him the final pose and give you guys my final results, so I'll be right back. To be honest with you, this is the only pose I can give him, so I do apologize for that. The Megazord is good, the lack of paint is sucks, I do like the translucent looks of it right here. I think it's, they did somewhat give him the same thing, same treatment of the Japanese version. Well, like I said, I don't have the Japanese version, but I will get it soon, so yeah. Up the crotch area is... There we go, I fixed the crotch area. Anyways, I'm going to end this right here, you guys. So have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.